My dad saw a video about making rings out of zinc. To help the process go faster, I decided to make him this simple mold for casting ring blanks. Uh-oh, my compound is not going to clear the tailstock. The gold standard, not big enough. Don't wear your rings when you're working the lathe, people. One degree taper set. Let's taper this thing. Now we need the one degree taper on the inside, too. Paper to me, darn it. Mm -hmm. Does this fit? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that fits reasonably well. Yeah, okay. Let's do the other piece. Let's chop it. to touch. Nice inside surface finish. Yeah, looks all right. Nice taper on the inside. I think that ought to do the trick. Now we're going to make a complementary taper piece to cram in that hole. Out of aluminium. Half inch round. All right. We're also going to tidy up. Let's cut some stuff. It's fairly peggy looking. Eh, not a stick in there reasonably well. Let's cut it off. Okay, let's see if it fits without a deburr. Almost. Let's deburr it. Be right back. Okay. Deburred it with a file. Let's see if it fits now. Uh, does it? No. 
it gets stuck on the back because this also has a ridge. Right. So we're going to use the handy dandy rotary deburring doohickey. Deburr the rotaries right out of it. There we go. dark in here or what? Okay. Does that fit? That is a lovely fit. It's a nice little cork fit. Okay. Sweet. Well that ought to just about do it. Fit feels good. I guess so we'll fill it up with some zinc. Should pop out and then you'll have to drive it off of this thing a little bit until it hits the the taper. If I tapered it all the way up it would work better, but I don't want to use any stock larger than half inch. So, let's give it a try. Let's go burn some pennies. <laughs>